What's up guys, so we are here at Ibotsi Golf Links and it is the Strixon demo day today so I'm super excited to give that the new clubs a go. We're going to be testing out the Strixon ZX5 and ZX7 drivers, very keen to get my hands on them and give them a go and give you guys my thoughts. Hello everybody, my name is Alfred Sutton. I'm the tour representative at Shrixen Sports South Africa. I'm here to talk about the brand new Shrixen drivers. It's the new brand new Shrixen ZX driver range. They are amazing. Out, in the, out on the shelves, please get them fitted. Um, I'm here to talk a little bit about the, the drivers, about the technology behind them and why you should get fit into these two drivers. We've got the ZX5 driver, which is our slightly higher MOI, slightly bigger shape driver head. The ZX7 is slightly more compact. A little bit shorter from uh, um, from front to back, a little bit lower spinning, lower launching. You'll see in the ZX7 driver, we've got two weights at the back here, which you can fine tune your, your ball flight. For someone that kind of hits it a little bit to the left, you want a bit more weight on the toe area um, to kind of make that heel a bit lighter. For someone blocking it out to the right, get some weight more on the heel here to get that toe covering the ball, golf ball better uh, for you to hit a nice little draw shot. Um, in our new drivers, we've got a 15% bigger carbon fiber on the on the crown that just makes the club a little bit lighter. It allows us to get a little bit more weight more towards the back end of the club um, to stabilize the club, get the ball uh, get the ball up in the air and make the drive a little bit easier to hit. Just around the drivers, on the two weights that you get on the ZX7 driver, the one weight is 4 gram, the other weight is 8 gram. So that just makes kind of sense on the 8 gram being a little bit heavier the way you want to put it on the toe and the heel that's going to accommodate your ball flight with the ZX5 driver we just got the one 8 gram weight way at the back you'll see with the ZX5 driver obviously the 5 driver is slightly longer front to back so making it a bit longer front to back and getting that weight really low and deep far back as possible on the club creates that higher MOI on the club and makes the club much more stable and much more easier to hit than the ZX7 um, You'll notice on the colouring in the drivers as well, we've got absolutely beautiful colours. We've inserted a little bit more white in the, in the club to make it a bit more flashy and a bit more beautiful. Uh, with the ZX5 driver, the feedback from all the fittings that we've done so far, the sound is a little bit softer, uh, more like a, a suppressor sound, um, not that loud, a little bit more of a carbony sound. With the ZX7, we, you get a little bit more of a banging, tinny, tinny sound, a little bit more louder so the guys can hear you around the golf course. Um, with both drivers, we've got the same hosel on the driver. You can loft the drivers up by a degree. You can loft them down by a degree. You can open the face by two degrees. You can close the face by two degrees. With the previous hosels, we had the upright setting where the toe was sitting up in the air. With the new ones, we've got a flatter setting. So for the tour player that likes something that sits a little bit more down, a little bit more flatter, um, it just, it's just for, for them to it, it just suits their eye a little bit better. It suits their eye a bit better. With the shaft options on the shelf, with the ZX5 driver, they come standard with the even flow Riptide shaft. The shaft is about 50 grams, a little bit soft in the tip here. This is really for someone that kind of hits the ball to the right that needs the help. So with a softer tip, it's going to allow them to, to, uh, to get the club face a little bit more square and, uh, and get that, that nice draw shots. With the ZX7, we've gone from to the hazardous smoke shaft, a little bit lower spinny, lower, lower launching type of shaft. This is really a shaft to control the, ball, uh, the golf ball both ways and hit those consistent shots. With the technology on the heads as well, I've spoken about the, um, the carbon fiber. A big key technology change for us is the rebound frame. You'll actually see the writing on the face saying rebound frame. What that is, the, the frame, the, the face works like a spring. It's a spring-like effect. So when you hit the, the golf ball with this club, you, you almost feel like the, the face wants to suck that golf ball back in and just kind of shoot it out. So there's different flex zones around the club face. There's different flex zones at the top, different flex zones at the bottom, and that, that all accommodates how you hit the golf ball. So it doesn't matter where you strike the golf ball, the, the face wants to suck that ball in, and that will allow you to get maximum club head speed, maximum ball speed, beautiful spin rates, nice high launch, and uh, get the biggest distance that you can get out of these clubs. So yeah, that's our ZX7 and ZX5 models. Please have a look at them and uh, get fitted. <laughs>
of thunder in Joburg. Um, that is a little bit scary, but talking about the driver, um, yeah, gotta love it. All pros are actually putting it on play on tour, which just, oh no, that is so scary. Um, yeah, tour pros have been putting it into play, both locally and internationally. So yeah, that just speaks for itself, but it's been ticking all the boxes. It's longer, it's straighter, so you gotta love that. And the feel and sound just kind of suits my ear and my eye. Looking down at them, I feel very confident. Big thanks for watching guys, so yeah, remember to comment, smash that like button. Remember to subscribe to the channel as well, it really helps a lot and it's starting to rain so I'm out. Cheers guys.